because they, um, Depends if they're slimy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I think black in Australia. So they just have a bad rep there. I'm Rexford DeMazzolaire. I'm a reptile enthusiast, researcher, and business owner. My business is Exotic Incorporate, and I own 40 animals, and they live in my apartment. I'd probably say out of the 40 that I own, I've rescued eight, eight to 12, I believe. Finding a snake in a trash can outside of a reptile convention because they didn't sell it. So they, instead of giving it away, they just throw away the snakes because they didn't want to ruin their next year's profit. Like, it's a harsh world out there. It's really sad. He doesn't care. If he just wants to eat, he'll worry about if it fits down his throat later. <laughs> so I know what people are thinking, oh this this is inhumane. Why would you let this? Why would you do this? Why would you put a live mouse in there with a snake? This is gonna happen anyway in nature. And since this is my pet, I'm looking out for its best interests. And it needs its exercise. So that's why. A huge reason why people don't own snakes is because of handling their food. People are either not willing to, <laughs> I guess, sacrifice a life for their pet, at least them themselves, or they don't want to deal with just rodents in general. Vanilla Ice doesn't smell this yet, or he's asleep, or he's playing the sit and wait. Sometimes they like to play games with their food because it's their source of entertainment. And there you go. Now he smells it. You can see the food is getting closer to him, so now he's about to attack. He was just lazy. Ooh, wow. Maybe not. He just wanted to wait. So right now, this dude is squeezing the life out of his mouse. It, it eats pretty fast. This is one of the faster eating snakes. What I find so intriguing about snakes is that one, they're misunderstood. Two, they're so easy to understand once you get a chance to like look at them. They're either in fight or flight mode. And three, they're so cool. Like they're literally live jewelry. So I was like, how do you not, how are you not in awe of a creature that it's so motivated by food, like, it's it's ridiculous. Like, they have a whole life wrapped around food. So that's why I'm so intrigued by snakes, because there's still a lot that's unknown about them. She's super friendly. Three days ago, she ate two mice, two adult mice. Really? That's why she's big like this. Okay. More than 10,000 new fires were reported over the past few days, many believed to be sparked by farmers clearing land. So right now, there's been a fire burning for 16 days in the Amazon forest. I just found out about it today. The homes of these animals are being destroyed as we speak. So if they're being brought over here and people are trying to just imitate their house, well, it's better than where, they're, where they should be right now because it's being turned into a farm. It's being de-snaked so their cows can graze there freely so they can make money. And that's sad. Their natural habitat is at attack, so they're going from wild to domestic. If that's what it takes for them to survive, that's, that's, what, that's what it takes. Reptiles can evolve into domestic pets just like dogs, cats, birds, etc., rats, you know, you name it. For reptiles, snakes in particular, the easiest way that I'm doing it right now is introducing myself as soon as they're born. So the snake eggs that have just hatched for me, um, as soon as those eggs come out, as soon as those snakes come out the egg, I'm handling them. I'm introducing myself so they know that I'm not a threat. I've been there since day one. 
That's all they need to know. They're my pets. I love them. The funny thing with these animals is like, yeah, they were mean at one point, but that passiveness, that docileness that was passed down genetically from one generation to the other, because animals realized, hey, I don't need to be this mean anymore because food is provided to me. I just need to live in harmony with this companion and I get fed. Now, in this day and age, the reptile business is coming up, being around $100 million right now, only about 20, 30 years old. Whereas dog, the dog market is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. So it just, it comes to show you that people now are breeding out the docileness and the niceness genetic in reptiles. So it's only a matter of time till people truly see everything's just an illusion. Love them. Um, I like them Amazing. a lot more now that I'm up close and personal with one. Honestly, I've never really like, I don't think I've ever helped snake. No. So I find. I feel like it's a pro. Right? Yeah, it's it's a part of me. <laughs> oh, that's Catavino. I am woman, hear me roar. Don't bring out a bigger one. <laughs>